Aurora TV. The world is thinking. So this brings me back to my third topic that I want to talk to you about. Where do pathogens come from? We've talked about dengue virus, its emergence from the jungle, and its ongoing emergence from human population centers, which store an incredible amount of diversity of the virus that can respond to new opportunities. But what about other pathogens? Hantaviruses are nimble. They can switch into new hosts, have occasionally in the past. They take advantage of opportunities, concentrations of hosts and viruses. West Nile virus in our own backyards. This is a big year for West Nile virus. It's a cousin to dengue. It's transmitted by mosquitoes. It was not here before. It's here now, and we're having a bad year. So what I really want to know is how can we use some of these amazingly new genomic tools? I showed you the genome science slide. We're now moving into an age where we have genetic tools to look at where in nature diversity is stored whether it's communities of rodents and insectivores, small mammals, or mosquitoes. This is a blood-fed female. She contains female mosquito. Only the females bite. She contains vertebrate blood meal. I think it's mine. <laughs> in theory, she would also contain all the pathogens that might be in that vertebrate blood meal. She also contains her own microbes, her own parasites. This female fed so much that she passed out. <laughs> she woke up a few hours later. We put her in a tube. So she's, she was fine. It's really the gluttony of it. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> so we can use next generation sequencing tools to drill through this organism and simultaneously reveal the hidden diversity of microbes in the blood meal, in the vertebrate she fed on, and in her own bi bio biological system. And that's been an exciting topic of my research uh, in the last couple of years. So this is applying that technology to a single host. And you can see that when I showed you that phylogeny, every tip on that tree represented the consensus virus from a single host. But underneath that single virus consensus sequence is actually a whole population of different viruses. And these se sequence traces are all different in subtle ways. So we are really bags of many, many different viruses. This was a human case, a human infection, and we tracked the change in that virus diversity over time as the patient developed fever, and then it cleared the infection. But the mosquitoes would have the same dynamic, the same wealth of virus diversity to respond to evolutionary opportunity. So what we wanted to ask was, how does this diversity within a host or amongst different hosts impact human health? Biodiversity is the variety of different organisms, forms of life, but it can go from genes to species through to different ecosystems. So it's really about differences, the many differences that exist in a community of species. 